Jenny and Emma have recently graduated as teachers at the University of Wolverhampton, where they both took the post-compulsory PGCE course. Jenny studied to be a food technology teacher and Emma an ICT teacher. Both students were involved in piloting an e-portfolio, an electronic reflection and communication tool. VLEs are owned by the institution and, and the e-portfolio is owned by me. The e-portfolio was a method for us to start sharing our fears, really, I suppose. I think it's the first step in something that's, that's, that's huge in terms of personalised learning environments. I was excited about it because it was something different. The e-portfolio facilitated text-based conversations between Jenny, Emma and their peers whilst on teaching practice. Julie, their lecturer, encouraged students to share experiences and reflect critically on their placements. Let's have a little chat about how you've been getting on, what this month's been like for you. Being critical of myself scared me, but somehow, <laughs> blogging with other people and hearing their thoughts, I started becoming reflective. And Julie then pushed us further and started questioning, and that just continued to develop within the blog. And it was really just a lifeline of communication initially. It was like, this is my experience of teaching practice, what about yours? The sort of virtual community that we'd made over the six weeks, both face-to-face -face and starting with blogging, um, stretched into teaching practice in terms of sharing critical incidents, sharing best practice. A web folio is what I've created from my e-portfolio. So I've created a, a place in my, in my space, I suppose, that has links to other parts of my portfolio that has links to internet sites and is created like a like a filing cabinet online but it's got a dialogue with it as well it's sort of a lifelong learning for me with a vle it's not something that that belongs to you or that you can take with you after you finish study my study at home would have looked like a tip because i would have had paper everywhere and this is just an organized place to put everything and it just means it might get seen again you know you do a paper portfolio at school at college and it goes under the bed and four you inches of dust it and it, it mm. never sees the light of day again so that's why i think it's massively useful jenny and emma were introduced to the idea of using audio visual metaphors to encapsulate their feelings about and reflections on their learning journeys jenny used photos and emma began to explore the use of video and music their confidence with technology meant they were happy to embrace the e-portfolio and they now see themselves as evangelists for a new form of lifelong learning software that many believe is the future of personalised learning. The fact that you could put video and tell your story and I sort of got all encompassed in this storytelling I'm aspect of your life. I did, yeah. I, was, uh, I just thought, you know, what, where, what are the limits? For as far, far back as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a teacher. It's just me talking for the first minute, which is, which is beautiful in itself, obviously. Every day I use technology. I don't think I could be without my phone, which sounds really sad. I use the MSN Messenger. It's how I contact my friends from around the world, from who I've met on my travels. That's exciting for me. I think the way that I use technology in general enabled me to take on the e-portfolios and the VLE that we used at Wolverhampton. It's really strange because for the last year, the technology that I've used in my life has been an e-portfolio. It's an addictive thing to use, both academically and socially. We finished our course eight, nine weeks ago, and yet we're still on there every day. So I think it is definitely having a bearing on how we need to teach and how people are going to learn in the future. <laughs>